Good morning, it's Tuesday the 8th of August. I recently spent some time at the Great Yorkshire Show. As part of my rural role within the Yorkshire West District, I am on the Church on Show Committee, which organises the Christian presence at the show. It's one of the biggest agricultural shows in the country. And over the course of the four days, there are something like 140,000 visitors and 8,500 animals. The show opens at eight o'clock and to avoid the traffic, I made sure I was there in plenty of time and each day had a bit of time before I started my shift on the stall to go and have a wander round. The stalls are all being set up. What an amazing range of things you could buy from designer wellies to handmade fudge, from tweed jackets to luxury dog food. Also at that time in the morning, the animals are being prepared to be shown. You can watch cows and bulls having their morning shower so that they're looking their best, ready for the judging. I also go and have a wander around the farm machinery, where if you've got a spare 100,000, you could buy the latest in tractor technology. Later in the day, there are a whole range of activities from sheep shearing to opera singers, marching bands, to carriage racing and one of the biggest attractions this year was a man called Lorenzo who is a bareback horse rider. The churches have a permanent pavilion, permanent pavilion on the site and the theme of this year's display was journey through life. We have games and activities and interactive displays including a prayer pool in sight. The idea is to provide a positive church presence and to engage people in conversation, as well as providing a quiet space in the midst of a busy show. We also provide a dry space and there were some very heavy spells of rain during those four days. I chatted to lots of people, who, some of whom shared their church stories and faith stories. Others just wanted to talk about life in general. One or two shared difficult experiences they'd had with the church. All were listened to and given time and space to talk and share the things on their hearts. It was good to be there and important for us to be able to offer space for people to encounter God. At its heart, the show is, of course, an agricultural show and its focus is on farming. On one of the days there, I went for a briefing as an auction mark chaplain to find out what some of the issues were that are facing farmers at the moment. We heard about challenges facing farmers like financial issues, poor mental health, family breakdown and conflicts. The National Farmers Union were also involved in that conversation. And one of their challenges to us was to encourage people to support our farmers in whatever ways we can. And they suggested one way to support our farmers was to buy locally produced food wherever possible. Better for local producers and better for the environment. Jesus used farming in many of his parables. He spoke about seed and crops and soil and shepherds. I'm sure he would have a heart for those who tend the land and care for creation. May we reach out with his love and his compassion. Let's pray. Loving God, we thank you for the Yorkshire show and a time of coming together and celebrating the best of farming. We thank you for the church's presence and being there to listen. We pray for farmers, that they will be good stewards of the land and that we will support them with our prayers and our actions. Amen. <laughs>